Hello, and welcome to another episode. Tau Hercules is a minor meteor shower that, in most years, produces little or no meteors. However, this year, Tau Hercules may become much more intense. This is due to happen at the end of the month. Back in 1930, astronomers spotted the comet 73P Swashman Wackman 3, and at the time, a possible meteor shower was predicted as the Earth passes close to its debris field. It was even claimed that there was a meteor shower seen back in the 1930s, but that was disputed as and no significant shower has been seen since. But in 1995, the comet broke up into four parts that created a lot of debris. By 2006, it had broken up into 68 pieces, creating even more debris. Our planet has a nice chance of hitting this debris field this year, although some astronomers' calculations suggest it may not happen. The moon will also be new on the night, night of May the 30th to the 31st, meaning conditions should be perfect for meteor viewing, clouds permitting. But there are a few things that have to occur for the meteor shower to appear. The first is that there needs to be a large debris field. This seems to be the case. The second is that the debris must have moved forward in its orbit to intersect the Earth's orbit. This can happen as the debris falls towards the Sun and picks up speed. Finally, the debris must have been ejected fast enough in order to assume this new orbit. This also seems possible, as the 1995 breakup was very intense. Strangely, the position of Tau Hercules meteor shower seems to change each year. This time, it should be radiating from near the bright star Arcturus, peaking about four minutes past five in the morning UTC on the 31st of May 2002. Obviously, you should also keep an eye out for the meteors on either side of this evening. It is theorized that this meteor shower could be more, signif come more significant in the coming years, and I'm going to try and capture it myself, and I'll report back on any significant findings. Well, that's all for another episode. Please leave a like if you like the episode, as it really helps out the channel. And if you have any questions, then please leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see more astronomy episodes, then please do subscribe. Goodbye and clear skies. <laughs>